Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to compare the new Huawei GT2 Pro versus the new Huawei Watch S. We unboxed both of these devices in the last month, so today we will see which one is better and what similarities do they have because they are both of them from Huawei. So let's begin first with the GT2 Pro. As you can see in the taskbar, we have here do not disturb screen on fine phone my, my alarm settings date and time. We have notifications down below. In the left we have activities. In the right we have heart rate, stress, weather, music control and activities again. If you press the button you enter the app list which you can see we have workout workout record, workout status, heart rate, blood oxygen, activity records, sleep, stress, breathing, exercise, call logs, contacts, music, air pressure, compass, notifications, weather, stopwatch, timer, alarm, flashlight, find phone, and the settings. Honestly, plenty of options in the GT2. Now it's time for the watch S, so let's see what we got. In the toss war we have no disturb find phone, a vibration, alarm and settings and also date and time percentage of battery as well. Down we have notifications same as in the GT2 uh, Pro. In the right we have here stress, heart rate, weather, music control and activity records as well. Very similar to the GT2 Pro. We have heart rate here, stress, breathing, exercise, music, uh, weather, stopwatch, timer, alarm, flashlight, find phone and the settings as well. You can see the similarity similarities that they have in the software. So let's begin with some tests here in the GT2 Pro. We saw the things that they have similar in between them. The theme, it changes a little bit. The screen as well, the quality of the screen. You can clearly see the GT2 Pro is quite good we have here all the sports that you can see right here like hiking uh, outdoor running outdoor cycling uh, pool swimming outdoor swimming etc plus you can add more here at the bottom as you can see strength spinning air wall walker uh, yoga pilates crossfit etc all these type of options that you can add in the workout session Let's try the outdoor running as the first option. You can see immediately it begins to measure our uh, heart rate, pace, distance and timing. In the second page we have steps, sentence and calories as well as the heart rate zone as you can see in every page. We have total siding and altitude, heart rate, trailing by and also average pace. We have training effect. And that's it. In the right, we will find the music control as well as the GPS, as you can see, so we uh, don't get lost. Press and hold the button to end the session, and that's basically all that it takes here in the GT2 Pro. After that, we have the heart rate. As you can see, immediately it starts to measure your heart rate. We have highest and lowest, as well as the statistic for the heart rate we also can find the statistic in the app like i mentioned always here next we have the blood oxygen press measure and we have for this option to keep still and don't move our hand keep the hand facing up and you can see now we got the result for blood oxygen after that we have the stress as you can see stress option will uh, automatically measure itself we have the stress levels down below you can see in the app the stress that we measured before for throughout the day week month or year statistic and to see this or to enable the stress option you have to go here in the huawei gt2 pro and you go to health monitoring you can see automatic stress test you enable that and you don't have any problem you can check out the stress level at the end of the day next we have the call logs 
uh, that we you can see the history we will see that later we have here the breathing option as you can see i set up for one minute you can set up all the way to the five minutes for five minutes so this will help you reduce stress and lower your blood pressure and heart rate as well by pra practicing inhaling and exhaling like it says in the watch you can see we have the call logs and contacts as well we can make phone calls and accept phone calls in this watch also we have the compass as you can see after it's been calibrated and the air pressure as well so this is all that we have here in the gt2 pro and these are all the options that we can see some of them you can customize and use them in daily basic for the most part these are very useful options next in the line we have the huawei watch s again press the button to enter the app list the workout is the first option that we have you can see we have the same options or the same sports that we do in the gt2 pro but the uh, watch s is much cheaper and you can see it has different build qualities it's not as good and heavy as the gt2 pro it has different shape and a little bit different theme it looks not just not like a real watch or very good quality watch like the gt2 pro feels you can see how the running is the first option again in the huawei watch s so let's go ahead and try that out we can see we have heart rate pace distance and time next we have the steps cal sentence and calories heart rate and pace as well next we have the heart rate and basically that's it in the right we have the music control we don't have the gps like we do in the gt2 pro for the roads after that we have the heart rate like we did in the gt2 pro you can see again we have the heart rate being measured the highest and lowest down below and in the middle we have the statistic like always so as i said before these data will be saved in the app so we can check out later what we did After the heart rate, we have the blood oxygen again. We have to keep the hand still facing up. So you can see this is how the result will look. We have the result for the blood oxygen. We have the percentage and we have the heart rate as well. After that, we have the stress. Again, the stress will be automatically measured. And we have the breathing exercise inhale and exhale like we did in the gt2 pro same as before we got the result you can see the heart rate and other options like we did in the breathing exercise so guys this was all for today's video i hope you find this video interesting and helpful if so hit the like button subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device